um, and I, I hate feeling like I can't do something. And um, early on in the year, I was getting, getting kind of getting hit around a little bit, and I just try to keep going to the bullpens and keep going to my coaches and say, hey, hang in there with me. We're going to turn this around. And thankfully it did. I got a little bit more comfortable in the AL East. I got a little more comfortable in the confines of the Rogers Center in Toronto. So um, a lot of different reasons um, probably contributed to me being a little bit more resilient than uh, perhaps other people. But at the same time, it, a lot of that has to do with people pouring into me. Well, it was tough, you know, coming from the NL East, um, where you, you don't face a David Ortiz every time through the lineup. I mean, the NL East is tough. When you go through New York, Baltimore, Tampa, and Boston, you're playing in some smaller parks. You're playing with the DH, um, and a very good DH at that in every part. So it takes some getting used to, and you got to really bring your A game. Um, but that being said, they have to do it too, and so you can never use it as an excuse. Well, you know, I, I think I could, my body is going to be able to play into my mid-40s if I, if I would like to do that. I don't know if my spirit's going to be willing. You know, rarely can you say that the, you know, the flesh is willing and the spirit's weak, you know, but that's kind of what, what it's going to come down to. You know, I've got four kids. The oldest is about to be 12 years old, and, um, you know, they've missed their father for a lot of their life, and so... You know, just trying to balance that out with my wife uh, will be a determinant in what I do.